how how do you convey that that incredible poignance uh, between these two characters? Well, first, um, we we took the six episodes as as if as if we were we were treating a six hour movie or a five five and a half hour movie to really be able to build uh, that crescendo, you know, supposed to go episode by episode to understand where the relationship is going and and if you, I mean, if you if you want to analyze the themes even the love their love theme uh is not fully introduced early on but it kind of unfolds as you as you go as you watch more and more material in the same way that they you know they realize that they are in love only that that cannot be but they have to fight that and and i think I think, uh, and 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 he will help me a lot with that, kind of to show that poignancy, but at the same time to to not show it all, to restrain a little bit of the music material in the same way that they do with their own feelings, because they're not just uh, it, that cannot happen. I don't want to spoil the show for those that are attending this Q and A, but this is an impossible love story basically from the beginning. So. And music should should and music should understand that as well. Music shouldn't give more than what they give. Right. Now, an SCL member would love to know what was the biggest musical stretch uh, in scoring the English. Uh, what piece are you the most proud of here? Uh, probably uh, the long, the twenty-minute scene uh, where they have to say goodbye. Spoiler alert, but in ep six, in episode six, there's a 20 or 20 something minute scene that it's very operatic in the staging, the way they are on the horses, they get off the horses, they hug, one follows the other, uh, the camera takes different distances and uh, there's slow mo, there's silence. And that could be an opera, very, you know. That could very well be be a, be a, be an opera scene, and uh, and the score never stops, um, and it has to be intense yet, it has to leave them be. So probably, probably if I had to pick only one scene of the entire show, that would be the one, their farewell. <laughs> And it's episode six. That's your big, you know, submission episode, you know, for for the Emmys. Was there anything else in that episode that you thought made this okay? This is the one that I'm going to pick. Well, I, I, the truth is, as I was telling you before, Daniel, all the all the themes um, kind of grow throughout the show. So I think most of the music material finds its climax in that episode. Even the the the, the bad guys, the villains. Uh, that have a, 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 a badass color and where we're mixing the cello with a with a you know with a big orchestra with percussion with a distorted uh, percussion. I think it's in ep six where also it finds its nastier and harsher colors. And the same happens with um uh, the revelation of what's happening to Cornelia, and the same happens with the 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 the, the, the end of many characters that end their 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 journey there. 